Hey everyone, Jason Shepard of M0A.com and welcome to Pilot Training TV. Okay, so I'm not exactly the best artist, but that's my version of the G1000. Or at least that's as close as I get to the G1000 when I'm flying the 150 every day. Um, I actually have quite a bit of G1000 experience in the uh, Cessna 350 and the Cessna 400, which there is a link to that video down beneath if that's something that intrigues you. Guys, G1000 training is so very important. You know, so much has changed that it's gotten to the point where I really worry about student pilots like those that have learned uh, you know just in the steam gauges and want to go rent a G1000 aircraft or those that have learned just in a G1000 or the Avidyne or any glass panel system for that matter and want to transition to steam gauges there is a fine line and I need you guys to do all you can to learn your absolute best G1000 training is going to be so crucial. I really recommend that you get out there and learn all you can sitting in that airplane, just fiddling around with it and playing with it. If you already have experience using the Garmin 430, you're already well ahead of the game. But the thing is with the G1000, you need to be out there doing it. You can play around as much as you want, you can read as much as you want, but you really need to get out there and actually do it. I encourage anybody who's learning to fly, go find a G1000, Avidyne, any glass panel equipped airplane and get out there and fly it. Because that is going to be so crucial, it's going to make you a safer pilot in the long run take all this great technology we have and learn how to use it to its fullest extent. Don't let be your first experience with the G1000 when you're shooting a localizer back course in solid IFR into an unfamiliar airport in an airplane even with this avionics suite you've never flown before. Because you know what? To be totally truthful and honest with you guys, that was my first experience with the G1000 equipped airplane. And and we got down on the ground safely. But it's not an experience anybody out there needs to have. You know, it was a scary one, to be honest with you. And I don't want you guys to go through that. I share my, uh, my past failures and past things that I've overcome with you guys so you don't make them again. That's just me being honest and truthful with you guys so I can help make you a safer pilot. If you guys want to learn more about the G1000, just shoot me an email. I got a ton of time in the uh, 350. I'd be more than happy to help you with that. Also, check out the video link below. It's pretty neat. Uh, flying the Cessna 350, just such a fast, sweet airplane. So, check all that out, guys. Also, keep watching uh, pilottraining.tv for more live shows. Check out the online ground school. Check out Private Pilot 101. I got a lot of projects going on and a lot of great information to make you guys the safest pilots possible. Guys, please remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great week. I'll catch you guys later.